So yesterday was the first day of spring. Today's March 21st. And it's 7.30 in the morning. And it's 55 degrees out. We have our pool covered, but we were swimming in that two days ago. <laughs> and we are running this big pool heater, 127,000 BTU heat pump, all electric. Uh, during the day from about 9 30 10 o'clock till about 3 30 4 o'clock and then we run this 24 hours a day uh, 12 hours a day we run that on solar and 12 hours on grid so it's costing us about a dollar a day to run that overnight and it's 87 degrees right now the pool temperature and it's 89 degrees going in now when we fire that up in a couple of hours we'll be able to get about a 12 to 14 degree pool temperature water difference from the water going into the big one by the time it comes out of the small one it'll be like 12 to 14 degree difference and that can heat it up really quick we're going to be in the uh high 70s low 80s today and in three days we'll be 95 in march <laughs> so <laughs> it's perfect <laughs> uh the nice thing this has been heating up for about four weeks now so the ground around the pool is heated up, so I'm not losing as much overnight. I only lost two degrees last night by running that little pool heater. That's a 17,000 BTU, 120 volt pool heater. So that kept me, I was at 89, 90 degrees, and I think I'm 87, 88 right now. So it really does a good job keeping the pool uh, water temperature up overnight when it's dropping down in the 40s and 50s i mean <laughs> it's a big difference so we are running it with all these solar panels there's eight over there eight over there 10 on top of that 24 over here there's 12 over on the shed eight on the other side and then over on this pergola there's 14 solar panel 14 or 16 solar panels so we fire that thing up, that big one up at uh, 9.30, 10 o'clock. We could actually, right now, now that we're, uh, the sun's a little more in the backyard and we're getting the sun earlier, maybe start around 9 o'clock in the morning. So, but we don't really need to. I mean, we're, we like it at like 88, 90 degrees and it's 87 right now. So... I don't even know if I would even have to run the big pool heater at this point today. I could just continue to keep running that little one. Um, but if I wanted to run the big pool heater today, I could go from 87 to about 99 or 100 degrees <laughs> if I wanted to get it that hot in the water. But, I mean, that's once you get that going for a couple of weeks and you get the ground around the pool warmed up, you don't lose that much overnight, but the first week or two, you use them. I mean, you'll lose like 10 degrees overnight, even with the pool cover on. Um, that's why I started running that pool heater overnight. So I'm only running for 12 hours, and it's like a buck a day to run that. So, And I'm only going to run that maybe for another week or two. So I'm not going to run it every single night, just, just to get the pool to the temperature. Now that we're going to be hot during the day in the 80s and 90s i'll be able to use the um, pool cover to heat the pool now because right now i'm in i'm like a half to two-thirds of the pool is in sun during the middle part to late part of the day i get more sun on the pool the later part in the day um right now you can see it's it's uh the sun's rising and i'm getting full sun on the pool but it's not heating it up but by the end of the day, the sun will be over here, and most of this, like three-quarters of the pool, will be in the sun. Um, so it'll keep it warm. So it's pretty nice to be able to get in the pool like two months earlier than everybody else. But now that we have more inverters, more battery, more solar, we're going to try and keep the pool heated um, starting in September, October, we'll start heating the pool because the nighttime temperatures will drop quickly uh, in October overnight. And if we can keep it heated, it's not going to be that big of a deal. We added more solar this year that we didn't have last year. And um, we went with 
uh, we replaced 250 watt poly panels with 330 watt mono panels and even some bifacials. So we have 10 uh, bifacials over here, 400 watt to 500 watt. We have uh, 400 watt, three or eight of those 400 watts over on the side. And then we uh, replaced the 250 watt up there I think we have 16 up there, 14 or 16 panels. They used to be 250, now they're like 325, 350 watts. So we have more solar coming in. And then we have solar on top of here that in the middle of the summertime, we can pick up another 4,000 watts up on top of here. If we wanted to run the solar over on this area here, uh, we could pick up 6,000 watts of uh, solar and those are 250 watt polys on there so now we'll be able to pretty much be able to keep this pool heated year round um that's going to be really nice so grandkids love it <laughs> anyways just wanted to do an update on the pool heating and uh been in it twice already and it is absolutely fabulous it was like 88 degrees when we went in the other day so anyways i'll leave a description or links in the description for products and stuff and please like share subscribe hit that notification bell and we will see you in the next video have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2025